Welcome everybody. This is Margarita with me, Massage and Spa. Today we are going to learn how to stretch on our lower back to relieve the tension for the sciatic pain. Um, so now let's get started. Are the things you do at work or during extracurricular activities making your neck, shoulder or back hurt? If your answer is yes, main massage and spa can help. Give us a call at 405 200 5240 to alleviate your pain. So now we are going to stretching our lower back and then if you want to stretch in lower back you always want to start starting stretching on your leg first because that's the main thing when you're tightening out the, on the lower back and then your legs is gonna be really tight so now we're going to stretching our leg first so first of things what are we gonna do is we're gonna this is a very famous <laughs> pose for the yoga it's called uh, a downward facing dog. So what are you gonna do is you're gonna put your palm like as your shoulder wide and then your legs as the shoulder wide too. And make sure your heel is rich on the ground and so you can stretch more. And so now you kind of like you are running and put your knee like uh, on the toes, walk, make sure every time you do it the heel is on the ground in this way so you can stretch more on your calf muscle like right here so now we're going to do the one is called half pigeon is the for the yoga post but I find out this one is really really good especially when I standing all day and then I will I will stretch out a little bit like this so that will help me to relieve my uh, tension for uh, my glue area and the uh, legs so now and the hamstring so now let's start it what are you gonna do we're gonna start with the left side first so you're gonna bend the knee up and then put on the side of your yoga mats and then you make sure your leg is straight so now you can release your the other hand the other uh, on the right of your uh, legs now so what are you going to do you can feel a lot on the uh, glue area and then on the side of the IT band area and so this is a really really good stretching for this area so now what are you going to do you're going to be the hands is going to straight up like this if you feel like this stretch is good for you so you can stay right here and just inhale and exhale so now if you feel like it's not enough so what are you gonna do you're gonna bend your uh, elbow and just relax right here and then inhale and exhale basically you will feel your feet is on your pelvic uh, bone right here so in this way it's just this is the position just for your information so now just inhale and exhale inhale and exhale now we come back So now we're going to working on the, the other the other leg. So we're gonna come back. We're gonna walk a little bit more. Now we're gonna do on our right leg. So you're gonna bend your knee up like this, kind of your running position, and then you're gonna put on the side of the yoga mats like this, and then you're rolling over like this way. With the front, you can feel on your hip reflexor too. When, whenever you feel the lower back, especially on the sciatic nerve pain, so what is gonna happen is like one of the muscles from the uh, hip reflexor running through all the way to the lower back. 
um, so that's why you want to stretch out like this if you feel like this stretch is good you just stay like it right here and then if you not feel it's not good enough so you're gonna bend your uh, elbow down and then relax right here and we just inhale exhale inhale and exhale really good we hold for a few seconds inhale exhale inhale and exhale really really good so now we are going to come to put this legs coming back right here so now we're going to stretching on our legs uh, IT band area so what are we gonna do is we're gonna pull our uh, toes as much as you could in this way you can feel a lot on your um, calf muscle on the back and so you're gonna feel like this way you're gonna pull and stretch it out really really stretch it out on your calves muscles and then you can feel a little bit on your hamstring too let's just inhale and exhale inhale and exhale really good so now we're going to this one is very challenging so now so we're gonna bend our knee down to this way and then we're gonna oh the grass is in my feet now so let's come back a little bit so now we're going to reach on our legs up but the feet is gonna be put on the side away so you're gonna do this way and make sure the leg is trying to straight as much as you could if you feel like the stretch like this is good enough for you so you just stay like this and then use one hand to support on the ground and the other hand just like relaxing and use the fingertips like this so you can have at least have a, uh, like band itself has, has in, have enough support um, but if you feel like it's not enough what are you gonna do you're gonna put another hands down your palm down like this way this one is really can stretch it out on your uh, chin and the IT band area so now let's deep breath <sighs> Ooh, that's very very tense <sighs> okay so now we're going to do the half pitching again but this one is gonna be more challenge so we're gonna go like straight on like this way so it's kind of like use your legs to riding a seven so now this right here is gonna feel more on the IT band area so it's gonna feel more on your hamstring too and it, because you make it wide open so it's gonna stretch more so now we're going to if you feel like this um, stretch is good enough for you so you just stay like this and if you feel like it's not enough what are you gonna do you're gonna pull your hand, elbow down and then inhale exhale if you want even more and then work go to opposite and then inhale and exhale inhale and exhale this one is really really good for stretch inhale and exhale so now let's come back come back to the center what are we gonna do we're gonna pull this leg up I need it back a little bit um so now we're going to pull our legs up <sighs> then we're gonna pull your leg on the side way too so you're gonna feel a lot on your chin area like this way <sighs> and then look back And then we're gonna put our legs up right here. Again, if you feel like this is 
a lot for you and then you're gonna put one hand down the other hand just support like this way so you can have some support you will be balanced out but if you feel like this is not enough then you're gonna put your palm like the other no, like the right hand the palm is down too so you're gonna feel more on the chain and the IT band area let's inhale and exhale if you want more you can pull your head up like this way so you're gonna feel more now let's come back right here inhale exhale if you feel like this stretch is good enough for you so you just stay like this if you feel like it's not then you're gonna pull your elbow down and then inhale exhale really good inhale and exhale so you're gonna pull if you feel it's not enough so you're gonna pull your body to the left side so you're gonna stretch more under your hips really really good <laughs> really good now let's come back to the center um, this is a real challenge right so now we're going to do something like more easy so we're going to lay down in, in order to stretch more on the lower back right here so we did all of the pre-work to work to working on our uh, legs so now well, is a time for us to stretching out on our lower back so first the things that you're gonna do you're gonna in the laying down position and so you're gonna bend your knee up and then put your this leg on this side and what you're gonna do is you are going to um, pull use your hands to go through your legs and then pull your right legs up so this one you're gonna feel a lot on the hips right here so you're gonna pull up as much as you could and the inhale exhale close your eyes inhale and exhale really good uh, come back you don't have to come back I just want to come back to change the position so you can be able to see uh, from this side So in the lying down position, so you're gonna pull this leg up, the left leg up, and then pull the right feet come to this way. And then what you're gonna do is gonna put your finger, or put your hands, right? Go through your legs and then pull, pull up. You can close your eyes. put our legs straight so the next one what we're gonna do is this is the one this one I show a lot for my clients when they come uh, if they have sad pain because what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your arm and then bend bend this knee up left hand left the knee up and then you using your um, um, right feet on your uh, uh, thigh and so then what are you going to do you're going to use the opposite hand so basically my right knee up and then i'm going to use my left hand to pull and 
I will twist my body and looking far on to on our right side so you can see you can stretch it out like this way it's a really really good stretch and so you can feel on your hips and then your your lower back sorry so your lower back right here and uh, this is the where your sciatic nerve running through so you can feel a lot of rest through here too and to stretching out the muscle right here just hold this position for 30 seconds so you just inhale and exhale inhale and exhale this one is really easy you can do it whenever you're on the bed you go to the bed or you wake up so you do like this now we're gonna come back to the center you're gonna still keep the hands open like this way um, and then you're gonna bend your right knee up and then put your left feet up to your right leg and then use your right hand to pull your left knee so and then your head is looking far to your left side and then inhale exhale inhale and exhale So now let's start from here.